everybody. I'm Paige. I'm a senior and I'm a business economics major in the Dyson College of Arts and Sciences and my company is Shearstock. Um, so first I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. Shearstock is a convenient monthly subscription service for hosiery products. Uh, with this company I hope to convenience the lives of my customers, introduce them to the latest styles and trends in legwear, and remind them that there are women empowerment organizations that need their support. And that's why I partnered with Career Wardrobe, which is the nonprofit in Philadelphia that helps uh, underserved women um, break into careers by providing them with professional attire and educational programs. Um, so the way my customer will sign up is they come onto my website and they fill out a brief style quiz. From the style quiz, I collect valuable information on my customer regarding their size, uh, their needs, their preferences, where they're wearing their stockings, and if they're looking for any features. So this is really valuable to me in personalizing their subscription, and it's also really valuable to brands. So in the future, I hope to be able to provide brands with the opportunity to target certain demographics. Um, right now we have three packages. The first is two pairs a month at $19.99. The upgrade is four pairs a month at uh, $39.99. And the Nylonista is six pairs at $49.99. So here's an actual <coughs> product of mine. This is the Shearstock subscription. This is what arrives to my customer's door every month. Um, inside, I included um, rewards from my crowdfunding campaign that I'll be addressing momentarily. But for example, t-shirt reward, um, different styles of pantyhose and stockings. Here we have some more fashionable sty uh, styles um, and then more basic for um, just someone who's wearing it as a part of their work outfit. Um, so just to touch on the market, there's 66 million women shopping for these products. Uh, in 2013, they spent 1.28 billion on tights and sheer hosiery. So there is definitely a market. Um, on top of that, the subscription commerce industry is valued at over $5 billion. There's a subscription for everything from uh, organic foods to pet toys and razor blades, um, but there's no market leader in subscription hosiery, so that's where I hope to enter the subscription commerce market. Um, so Just for one, one question. There's no other company that's doing that? Is, is that what you're saying? Yet? Not like I'm doing it. There what, are, what is the difference between... So the there are two... Yours? There are two companies in the space. One, you pay each month for a credit, and then you have to go online and then choose your style. It doesn't automatically arrive. Um, and then the other company, um, Pants and Legwear, actually recently uh, just went offline, so I'm not sure. Uh, they were more expensive and only had black styles. Um, so for my implementation, I launched a crowdfunding campaign on Plum Alley. Plum Alley is a women's only crowdfunding site. I thought that I would be able to tap into their network of 50,000 plus women um, and market my product. Um, so far I've raised a little over 2,000 out of a goal of 7,500 um, with a week left to go. Statistically speaking, many campaigns do reach funding in the last few days. Um, today I was featured on Product Hunt, which is a um, for those of you who are not familiar, it's a place where entrepreneurs share their startups, um, talk with people, uh, share their founding stories, and uh, get publicity, hopefully. Um, so through this whole process, I've sent over 500 emails easily to my network, my extended network, uh, press, um, just really trying to get attention, uh, and I'm going to continue to work on that. What matters, though, is that many of the pledges that I've received thus far are not people that I know, and they've signed up for subscriptions. So whether or not the campaign uh, comes to fruition, I will still have these people's information, and I'll certainly be reaching out to them for subscriptions. Um, so more validation that I got was I got out of the building, and I talked to people. Um, the, using lean startup strategies, I went out and talked to potential customers. I found a neat little hosiery shop in Penn Station where I just kind of set up for two days on a weekend and I spoke with people who were window shopping and I asked them questions ranging from what are your pain points when it comes to hosiery, where do you usually wear them, how often do you wear them, how often are you replacing your products and what frustrates you about that. Uh, so with those com questions I tried to lead them into a solution that uh, they would suggest. Um, and many people said that, you know, they just would rather have a more sturdy pair, which is not where I'm in business, but it helped me understand my customer better. Um, I got a lot of feedback as 
it, is it the Birchbox for tights? Which is exactly what I'm looking for. Birchbox has over 400,000 subscribers right now. Um, they really capitalized on providing uh, customers with the unique experience of receiving surprise samples every month. They're in beauty products, but I'm in tights. Um, and that sort of led me to a pivot where now I'm going to focus my marketing efforts on really conveying that this is for the customer to discover um, aspects of their style that they wouldn't have otherwise known by receiving these uh, fun and funky pairs of tights and trying them out. Um, I also received some direct customer feedback. I had the opportunity to sit down with two of my customers here in the city, uh, talk to them about the entire process from signing up, checking out, to receiving the box. And what they really loved was when it arrives, it's, it's you know, you can't miss it, it's a pink box, they really enjoyed that. And then um, the selection inside, they, they provided a lot of good feedback. Um, like I mentioned, I received pledges from unknown people. Um, so that is just, does anybody have any questions? I was curious, is there any kind of guarantee of quality that, that, that all of these will be of uniform quality uh, uh, that, that come to the customer? The hosiery product yeah. itself. Mm -hmm. I'm sourcing from brands, so like Hanes and Legs brands. Okay, so you're depending on their on their uh, <coughs> their quality, quality. yeah. Because okay. I've also found that people identify with their brands that they're already using and wearing. When you uh, took out the box, there was like pink everywhere. Everything looked great. It was like really enticing as like a brand. Uh, side question: Is that the King Food <laughs> silhouette? Um, it is similar to Kinky Boots. Oh, okay, Boots. but it's not like a trace it's, off. No, okay. no, I have But it's good though, it's like a good iconic yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, you had that really good, but then once you pulled out that product that you see at like CBS or any type of hosiery thing, then it like lost me. Like, I remember distinctly learning in, um, in at Pace, IMC, Integrated Marketing Communications, and how like, you know, take the brand from the box into the product. So I would say like, continuing forward, contact a manufacturer and then contact a packaging company. And even if you are doing it for your first ones yourself, like make like a nice pink casing for each one so that it's kind of like it's it's sheer stock everywhere from the application all the way to the product. So that they the, the customer doesn't say, oh I can just get that at the so it's it's special sheer stock exactly. Yeah that yeah. is a dream of mine. But you can do it. All you do is just like get them printed at Kinko's and just do it yourself for the first ones. Okay, that's a good idea. You know, you start small. Yeah.